Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in this video, we're going to look at the complete Creaform product lineup. All right, let's start by talking about what we're trying to accomplish in this video. So um, what you see here is the complete Creaform product lineup. And I thought what I'd do today is go through and kind of talk about uh, the different scanners here and kind of what their intended use are, or really what you know, people are, are buying them for. Because um, the great news is, is Creaform's got a, a wide variety of products now, but at the same time, it's also confusing to people. They don't understand what's the right tool for them, based on accuracy requirements, certification, part size, you know, part surface type, inspection versus reverse engineering, uh, you know, all those, all those things uh, come into play, portability, you know, all of that. So what we'll do is we'll walk through and explain uh, a little bit more about these and what the general intended purpose of each scanner uh, is. Now, if you want to learn about more about each individual scanner, I'm going to put links in the description below to in-depth demo videos we've done on each one because we're not going to go into all the specs and everything on these scanners. We're just going to kind of highlight them and really more talk about the applications. So if there's any one of these that's of interest to you, go check out those, uh, those demos and then you can learn all about that particular product. And then if you have other questions, feel free. I'll put a phone number and email address uh, below. Um, if you just have questions, maybe you want to arrange a, a virtual or in-person demo with, with us, uh, just reach out, we'll, we'll get that set up and, and can show you in more detail any particular product you want to see. All right, to get started, let's start over here, and this is the Peel 3 3D scanner. Now, most people know Peel 3 is made and manufactured by Creaform. Um, it's not really a big secret, but they have kind of their own uh, marketing and their own group that goes out and promotes the, the peel. Because the peel is intended for people, a lot of people that are, are not doing 3D scanning or maybe they've played around with kind of a, uh, a really low cost 3D scanner and they're really now ready to kind of take it up to the next level. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, scanner for really the professional uh, that wants to get started in 3D scanning. Typically it might be a small shop, might be somebody that's doing uh, some manufacturing out of their house or some fabrication or design work. And so they really want a, a, a more professional 3D scanner, but they're not ready to step up into the world of some of these higher end systems, you know, based on cost, complexity, and so forth. So the Peel scanner takes advantage uh, of the fact that it's manufactured by Creaform, it's made in North America, you know, it's the same underlying software and technology as a lot of these other scanners. So you're buying from a company you know, or somebody like EMS who's been doing this for, for 20 something years, just like Creaform has. Um, you don't have to worry about data integrity or anything like that because it's with a company you can trust and, and also you're gonna get good service and support. We provide all the training. You know, we treat our Peel customers just like any other customer, okay? We can do on-site or virtual training and we answer their questions. So the Peel is a structured light scanner it's got, they've taken the VX Element software, that's the software that runs the scanner, um, and they've simplified it into a much simpler interface. So instead of having to go in and set a bunch of values, it walks you through and asks you, like, how large is the part you're scanning? You know, things like that, and it sets everything for you. So it tries to make that 3D scanning experience easier for the first time user. So it's good resolution, it's good accuracy, it's structured light, and it scans in color. It doesn't require targets. Uh, you can use targets, and a lot of times you want to use targets, but theoretically you don't have to have targets, okay? So if you're just starting out and want to get into scanning and not you know, break the bank on one of these higher end systems, then the Peel is a great place to start. Next up, we have the GoScan Spark, and I always call the GoScan Spark the big brother to the Peel, okay? So it's similar, it's structured light, doesn't require targets, but we'll use them. 
um, scans in color, but it scans a bigger area. You're going to get higher resolution. It's going to scan faster. You know, you're going to get better detail. So it's just a, it's just the next level up uh, in in 3D scanning uh, in a structured light system with color. I believe the color is a little better on the Spark. Okay, and then. You know, these are primarily used for reverse engineering. It's not to say you couldn't use them for inspection, but that's not really their intended market. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes, okay? So those are your structured light systems, the PL3, the GoScan Spark. Next is the HandyScan series, and here we're getting into laser-based systems, okay? And um, there's three models in the, in the HandyScan, uh, what's called the Silver series, okay? You have the 307, the 307 Elite, and the 700 Elite. Okay, so the 307 is the entry level system. It's red laser, pretty good accuracy, pretty good speed. It's definitely going to do better on dark and shiny than the structured lights. It's going to do better outside in direct sunlight. You're going to get a little better detail, a little better accuracy. Okay, so that's the 307. Uh, the 307 Elite is blue lasers, which does even better on dark and shiny and outside, a little better accuracy. And then the 700 Elite adds the single line mode, which will get down into deep crevices, holes, and stuff, getting more information. So we, when we've done our tests, it gets about 20% more data in that single line mode in areas that the, the normal mode won't get, okay? So these, all of these here are primarily for reverse engineering. Theoretically, all of them could be used for inspection, but we'll get into that here in a minute. But their primary purpose is to scan things, turn them into CAD, or you know, use that data then design things around it. That's their intended purpose, okay? Now, moving up from here, we're getting into uh, systems that can do both reverse engineering and inspection. And the key thing here is the rest of these are ISO 17025 accredited. Now, what does that mean? That means that they're manufactured and tested and everything to an ISO standard, okay? So, so that's important when you start to get into inspection. You start to get into traceability, okay? I'm not going to go into the weeds on that. We, haven't, we have accuracy tests on these higher-end systems. I'll put some links below if you want to go see those. But basically, their, the, their entire process is under strict kind of procedures and guidelines so that, you know, there's that good repeatability. And then the key thing is, is they are then uh, measured to what we call an acceptance test. And there's different ones both from ISO and then for uh, handheld kind of portable 3D scanning. Uh, it's a standard out of Germany called VDI, VDE, and that's what we measure these two. So it's a very specific standard, and you measure a very specific way, and then, you know, you do that multiple times, and that's essentially your accuracy statement. So basically what you're saying is it's manufactured under strict guidelines, and we have tested it, and you can expect this accuracy when measuring things within the volume of whatever, you know, whatever that test was, that, that accreditation. So when you start to get into inspection, that becomes important. You gotta be able to trust your equipment and you know it's gonna be accurate. So that's what we're talking about here. And starting with is the HandyScan Black. And there's two models, the Black and the Black Elite. What they bring to the table is even more laser lines, so it's faster, even higher resolution, and that ISO accredited and, and the VDI, VDE testing um, so really now we're stepping into the world of inspection. Now many people use this for reverse engineering and don't do, don't do inspection, but they want that higher speed, that higher accuracy, uh, that better detail, all those things they want, and they maybe don't do inspection. But the good majority of customers use it for both. They use it for reverse engineering and inspection, okay? And um, the difference between the HandyScan Black and the Black Elite is the Black Elite is, uh, has the uh, uh, more laser lines and has that single line mode. So the, and, and it's a little more accurate. So those are the differences, okay? Now, as far as like part size, all of these here can theoretically scan the same types of parts. This will certainly do better on small detailed parts, but generally something small you can hold in your hand, really up to car size. All of these will scan a car, okay? Now, it starts to, to become impractical because it's gonna take longer, um, many of these, these two for sure use targets and you have to have lots of them uh, on something like the size of a car. So that's going to be a challenge. So generally in this world we're, you know, we're handheld size up to car size uh, is, is, the, is the size you would, you would be looking at here. 
Next up, we have the HandyScan Max, and there's a Max and a Max Elite, and this is really intended for stuff larger, up to 50 foot in size, okay? So this scanner has 38 laser lines and scans a much bigger area, much, much faster, still uses targets, but the targets are much farther apart, uh, up to like 20 inches apart, okay? There's different modes this will run in. So if you're doing parts more like in the three foot to 50 foot size, that's where this is gonna be better. Big aircraft parts, big marine tooling, um, you know, big industrial pumps and impellers and, and big uh, metal fabricated, uh, you know, welded assemblies or something like that. That's gonna be better for this. Now it can scan smaller parts, but won't get the resolution accuracy and detail in those small parts, especially like the handy scan uh, black will do, but in the bigger stuff, it's going to do better, it's gonna do it faster, it's gonna hold accuracy over distance, okay? And I'll come back to that and talk to that in, in more detail. This is also ISO 17025 accredited, measured to that VDI, VD, VDE standard. So this is absolutely a reverse engineering and inspection tool, but more geared towards large stuff, okay? So that is the HandyScan Max. Now let's talk about the Metriscan, because the Metriscan's a little different than everything else. This uses a optical camera system to track the head. That's why you see all the targets. So you don't have to have targets on the part, although you can for what's called dynamic referencing. And if you really want to learn this, go watch the in-depth demo video. But the advantage of this system is it'll scan big stuff faster, okay? Not as fast as this. Um, but faster, and then really this is intended for up to about maybe 15 foot in size, okay? And so it's, there's a little bit of overlap here, but if you're more on the shop floor, you're trying to do inspection on kind of larger stuff, three to 12, 15 feet in size, kind of bigger stuff. And the other advantage of this system is you can do probing. Probing is like a basically a handheld CMM, and I can go and click points. This is great to get down into things. So a lot of people still wanna do some probing, but this also does scanning. This has 30 laser lines. And once again, there's a black and a black elite. Um, higher accuracy over distance, okay? Within about 12, 15 feet, okay? This will be more accurate over longer distance, okay? So that's, this is where it gets a little bit difficult to choose. Also, these are all very portable, small case, you can, you know, you can jump on an airplane and travel with them. This, because of the camera system and you know, other things, it's a, it's a bigger setup, it's not as portable. Doesn't mean you can't travel with it, it's just more stuff involved, okay? So generally, this is shop floor inspection and reverse engineering with people that also may want probing and they want uh, really good accuracy in the 12, up to the 12, 15 foot range, okay? That's the world the Metriscan lives in, okay? Now, to add a little more complexity to all of this, we have a thing called the Max Shot. Okay? So what is the Max Shot? Well, the Max Shot is a photogrammetry system. What is photogrammetry? A lot of people know photogrammetry. You take a camera, you take a bunch of pictures of something, and you use software, and it makes a 3D shape. That's one use of photogrammetry. The way the Max Shot works is you put scale bars out and what's called coded targets, which have little sim unique symbols on them, and you put those all in the part, and this will photograph a much bigger area and you go around with those scale bars and basically what it does is it holds accuracy over distance. So it's a great thing to pair with like the handy scan because the handy scan is very portable but once you start getting over five, six, seven feet you really start dropping off your accuracy much more than you would here and here. Um, but if you add the photogrammetry to it you can hold that accuracy much longer. So if you're really after a super portable system, but occasionally do longer parts or larger parts, that's where you may add the photogrammetry. Now you wouldn't add it to the HandyScan Max because the, the HandyScan Max will use scale bars. It actually uses the same scale bars as the uh, Max shot. So that's already doing that same kind of photogrammetry in the Max. You could absolutely use it with the Metriscan once you start getting beyond, let's say 12, 15 feet. So theoretically, it could be add to, added to all of these scanners, but it's primarily gonna be maybe in the handy scan uh, models here, the silver or the black series. So, so that gives you some more options. It's something you can add later if all of a sudden you decide you're, you're wanting you know, larger parts. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So what's the right tool for you? Of course, it depends, right? It depends on, on your uh, requirements, as we mentioned, portability, part size, 
level of detail, scanning inside or outside, you know, certainly budget, uh, all those things, all those things come into play. So just to wrap up, the Peel and the Spark are great uh, systems to get started. If you're primarily doing uh, um, reverse engineering, you want something fast, maybe you want to capture color, uh, they're both great systems to take a look at. If you're getting more into like precision machine parts, um, things with more detail, things with chal more challenging surface types, um, things like that, that's where you're going to start looking at the HandyScan series. Certainly here for primarily reverse engineering, like you know maybe aftermarket automotive parts and castings and things like that. When you start wanting to get into ISO certified inspection, that's where you step up to the HandyScan uh, Black Series. If you're getting into large parts but you want portability and pretty good accuracy, especially over distance, that's really the world of the max. And then if you want shop floor metrology on, on you know, kind of medium to larger parts, more so than what the HandyScan Max can do, um, that's the MetroScan and you want probing, okay? And again, where it gets a little um, uh, difficult is, you know, this is good up to, let's say, 15, 18, maybe 20 feet. This is going to be actually more accurate beyond that, okay? So, you know, there's a little bit of overlap here, but they're unique. This is less portable. This is very portable. All of these are very portable. This typically is somebody that's going to put it on the shop floor. Uh, they inspect those parts in that, you know, 1 foot to 10, 12 foot range and they want probing, and it lives out there, okay? So hopefully that helps you. It's a lot to take in, and if you want to learn more, like I said, you want a virtual demo, you want an in-person demo, you want to ask questions, you know, we'd love to have a conversation with you, understand what you're trying to do, and ho hopefully ma maybe narrow it down. Um, you can reach us at 877-845-2700, or shoot us an email at info at ems3d.com and we're happy to have a conversation with you and figure out what's the right technology for your needs. So that wraps up the video on the Creaform product lineup review.